Good morning and happy Monday. I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Lake. Let's go ahead and talk about what we saw just earlier this weekend. So as far as wind gust reports, we saw some very strong winds, mainly impacting these south facing beaches. So Goleta saw wind reports upwards of 48 miles per hour, even near the Santa Barbara Botanical Gardens, 38 mile per hour winds. And we're expecting to see a very similar setup and situation to what we're seeing today as well. So keep in mind here, your hour by hour wind report, those winds should be picking up later on this afternoon. We do have a wind advisory in effect starting at 3 p.m. So 3 p.m. is when we're expecting to see the highest amounts of winds. Those gusts could be anywhere upwards of 45 miles per hour, but we're looking at about sustained 28 mile per hour gusts there. So keep in mind here, winds will be the main topic of discussion. Those winds will actually be heating temperatures up here in Santa Barbara as well. But take a look at multiple wind advisories in effect. The National Weather Service did just issue this wind advisory for the Santa Barbara Interior Mountains and the Santa Ynez Mountains as well. So we could still be seeing those very similar winds about 45 mile per hour gusts there as well. Both of those do expire at three o'clock in the morning for tomorrow. But as far as what we're going to be seeing high surf wise, definitely some stronger surf, especially for those areas north of Point Conception, San Luis Obispo and northern Santa Barbara County beaches, anywhere from eight to 12 foot waves. And then even down toward Ventura County, the possibility of four to eight foot waves. This uh, these advi advisories do expire by about 6 p.m. this afternoon. But take a look at how those winds will be warming temperatures up. So you can see here not too much of a difference for a majority of the central coast, but definitely going to be seeing some warming temperatures from what we saw this weekend here in Santa Barbara. We'll be sitting at 73 degrees for the day, Goleta up to 70 degrees, and then those overnight lows falling back down into the 40s and 50s. So definitely a cool night tonight and a very chilly morning tomorrow. But take a look at each microclimate. Isla Vista up to 71 for the day, 70 degrees in Summerland. Again, we do have multiple watches and warnings, so keep in mind here if you're traveling, especially in a high profile vehicle, we're expecting to see some of those strongest winds near the Gaviota Coast. You might be feeling that car shaking around a little bit. 65 degrees there in Buell. 65 as well in Santa Inez. So a little bit of a warming trend from what we saw this weekend, but still a majority of the central coast below average. We'll be sitting at 58 degrees there in Morro Bay, 63 in San Luis Obispo. Maybe a mixture of sun and clouds to start out the morning. Definitely mostly sunny skies by the afternoon and pretty mild temperatures. Have a good day.